All right. Um, so today we're going to do a full hour of training. Um, we've got a bit of mashup, so we're going to start with 15 minutes of technique. We're keeping it quite basic today, and that's going to kind of be our warm up. So don't push yourselves too hard in these early moves. Just let the power increase as you go on and let the speed increase as you go on. Round one and two should be taking it fairly easy. Uh, after we've done 15 rounds of technique, we're going to go into 15 rounds of fitness. Um, again, adjust these however you need. So if you're feeling good, by all means, go for it. Make it everything more dynamic. Maybe put in higher jumps, things like that. If you're not feeling so good, you're a little achy or you haven't done much over the holidays, you might want to slow down and just take it a little bit slower in all the different exercises. After those 15 minutes, we are going to go into 15 minutes of sparring combinations. Uh, they will be in five sets of three. So for instance, in round one, it might be jab cross. And then in round two, it might be jab cross, turn and kick. In round three, jab cross, turn and kick, snap kick. So they kind of build on each other. And then our final 15 is going to be stretching. All right, so that's going to be nice. It's not going to be intense stretching. We're not trying to force ourselves into the splits just targeting the whole body and bringing the heart rate back down lovely and slowly. And I see Daisy and Jamie have just arrived as well. Excellent. So we're going to be starting in 20 seconds. So if you want to do a little bit of mobility, you can do. And our first exercise is going to be sitting stance, middle punch. I told you we were starting off nice and easy. So we're going to have our feet lovely and wide, shoulder width and a half between the feet, push the knees out over the toes, one hand through the center, and then we go down and up, down with each movement. Off we go. So the timer is set to 40 seconds with a 20 second rest. Down, up, down, down, up, down. So make sure after you've punched, you get that extra drop. Drop now. And then drop with the punch as well. And like I said, don't put too much power into these. We're just using these as kind of a warm up. Lovely and basic. Excellent, shake those out. Um, we're going to go into round two, which is sitting stance in a forearm wedging block, and this is going to be middle. So again, we're in our sitting stance. Our hands are going to cross our knuckles up. If I can get closer to both cameras, so knuckles up, and then we finish with the hands at shoulder height, yeah? Elbows in, hands further out. So relax, come up to get ready, and drop to block. And then, like I was saying before, don't worry about how much power you're putting in, just focus on the technique, knuckles up. And because this is a symmetrical technique, both hands are doing the same thing, and we're in a sitting stance, it doesn't matter which is your top hand, which is your bottom hand. As long as we go from knuckles up to knuckles out and we get that twisting motion. Looking good. Make sure you're not going too wide. Yeah, tuck our elbows in a bit. Uh, we're going to combine those. So we're going to do a sitting stance wedging block and then we're going to do a double punch. So full sine wave, full sine wave, and then fast into the second punch. So and one and two, three. So the rhythm changes for that second punch. Here we go. Good. So remember the time for the first and the second move is the same. And one, and two. Only increase on number three. Nearly there. Excellent, you can shake that out. So we're going to move out of sitting stance and we're going to go into walking ready stance for some kicks. Our first one, dead simple, front snap kick. So take the right leg behind you, hands are up to the side, Nice big step here, heel on the floor, perform the snap kick and change legs, sort of swap every single time. Off we go. And although we should be feeling a little bit warmer now, still don't kick full power, take it easy here. When 
you land, that front leg is bent. Looking good. Just uh, one thing to be aware of is hands coming too high. Just level with the hips is good for this position. Okay, we're gonna add on a side kick, but we're gonna kick them out to the side. So if I'm in my walking ready stance here, front kick comes to the front, twist over, side kick comes to the side, and then I swap legs. Yes. All right, starting the five. Then obviously, when I do the other leg, I'll come to the other side. Off we go. And side kick, pivot, side, and switch. And snap kick, pivot, side, and switch. You might find your balance is better on one side than the other, completely normal. Make sure you breathe with both kicks. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna go into walking stance and we're gonna do a walking stance knife hand low block. So our starting position is back to back. Yeah, watch us touching back to back, okay? So I'm gonna use my left hand, put my left hand on the top, back to back, and we'll step forward, and I'm gonna perform my low knife hand block. This hand stays closed. Off we go. So with the low knife hand lock, your arm is almost straight. There's only a 15 degree bend in there. So make sure on your small bend in this elbow. Yeah, very slight. Fingers are tight together, no bad habits, sticky out little fingers, things like that. The action hand pull back to it. Uh, walking stance, reverse punch, but we're gonna take it High height, so high section. So when my left leg comes forward, I'll be punching with my right. And when my right leg goes forward, I'll be punching with the left. So it's all in opposites. All right, starting in five seconds. And eye height, please. Yeah. Two, one, off we go. Whoop. <laughs> Good start. As always, that punch should be coming straight down the middle. So for camera one, camera two, straight down the middle. Careful to make sure they're not going out to the sides. As always, nice big walking stance. Excellent, so combine those. So walking stance, low knife hand block, uh, reverse punch staying where you are. So I step forward for the low block. I stay still for the high punch. Yeah. Uh, shoulders, advanced grades, turning from half facing to full facing. Off we go. Half facing. Full facing. Now, whichever hand you used to do the low block, Use that to aim before you fire out the reverse punch. And remember this punch is high, so eye height please. Excellent, I think we've got kicks coming up again. Okay, uh, walking ready stance, double front snap kick. Nice, very easy. Um, higher grades, if you want to play around with your foot formations, do some of the instep, some of the ball of the foot, maybe one of each, absolutely fine. Changing legs every time. Three, two, one. So one, and two, and change. So I'm gonna go ball of the foot for now, but by all means, play around, do some of the instep, do some of the knee. 
change the height and go more towards solar plexus. Yes, well done everyone. Lovely balance. Excellent. Uh, we're going to add that side kick that we had before in there as well. So now we're going to go front snap kick, side piercing kick, front snap kick. One, two, three. Uh, I'll probably be wobbling all over the shot, but I'm going to try my best. Make sure you're trying your best as well. A little tip, turn your head. Yeah, make sure you're looking where the kick's going. So to the front, to the side, to the front again, and change legs. Definitely like one leg better than the other. Ten seconds. Super well done if you're keeping your standing foot pointing forward. Very important when you do the front snap kick. Not when you do the side kick, obviously. Okay, uh, on to our final five of technique. L stance, middle block. Nice. So, push the back knee out over the toes don't let it buckle in starting position is knuckles up like when we were doing uh, the wedging block so now knuckles up to this position here off we go remember to hold your L stance just for a second so you can check it make sure that knee's not buckling and that's a mistake we sometimes see is the back toe too far back bring it around to the side before you go into the technique. Excellent. Uh, I think we've got a knife hand garden block. Yes, we do. So L stands a knife hand garden block this time. Starting position, bit of an odd one. This hand pointing to the uh, ceiling, about shoulder height here. This hand pointing towards that elbow and they'll both twist as they come round. Still L stance. Off we go. We'll do a few of them, I'll come closer. Okay, so obviously our hands are starting back here, but as they come through, they're opening up and this hand's gonna be palm up underneath the chest, tucked in nice and tight. It's not down here by the waist, it's not flat like this, so turn that palm up. No sticky out little fingers. Fingers glued together, strong. Excellent. Okay, combine the two. So we're going to step forward, we're going to do an L stance middle block, and then we're going to just down, up, down into the knife hand guarding block. And because we're staying in the same stance, we don't need to shift the feet around. So here, one, stay where we are, two. It's not a combination that we practice from the patterns or a combination that we have on our grading line work. It just takes a few reps for you to get the muscle memory starting to build as we go through. Don't cross the hands for the middle block. Don't cross them for the knife hand guarding block. Well done. Excellent, what we got for kicks. Okay, we're gonna do a walking ready stance and we're gonna do a back piercing kick but we're not going to spin, we're just going to kick behind us. So I might fit this bit better if I go on a diagonal. So I'm here, I'm going to look over my shoulder. The leg that is behind me will chamber in, kick out, chamber back in, and switch legs. Off we go. So the leg that's behind me chambers in, I'll make sure I'm looking, chamber back, and switch.
And again, because this is a little different to how we normally perform it, balance might be a little bit off, completely normal. Just slow it down, take your time, make sure you're getting your eyes on the target and that will improve bit by bit. Excellent. All right, you might have guessed, we're going to combine that with a front snap kick. So front snap kick first, then behind you, swap the legs over. Starting in 10, if you want to have a little practice, we can do that now. So the snap kick comes to the front, look behind, and perform the back piercing kick, swap. All right, off we go. Another reason it's important to look, if you don't look, you might not be aware of how high you're kicking or for safety reasons you might be about to kick something. Uh, lots of times we get people kicking down here and they think they're kicking up here. So have a little look, make sure you are hitting that waistline or slightly higher. Nice, that completes the first section, 15 down. 45 to go, so fitness is coming up. We're not stopping, it's still 20 seconds rest. Stance changes, round one. So bouncing nice and light, whenever you're ready, swap the feet in the lane quick. You can do doubles and triples. Breathe out as you switch. Faster you breathe, the faster those feet will move. Remember when you switch stance, you've got to switch the guard. So if your guard's like this or a little bit further out, that backhand stays next to the face. Excellent, round two. Walk out. All right, so reach to the sky, hands to the floor, walk yourself out into a little plank, walk yourself back up. I like this one. Bit of core, bit of stretch as we go down. All right, starting in three seconds. Down. And back up. If you struggle with your flexibility here, just bend the knees, absolutely fine. squat walk. So I'm going to start. If you need to go this way, go this way. I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to squat down and then I'm going to stay down. Yeah, it's going to burn. <laughs> it's going to burn. When you run out of space, come back the other way. All right, three, two, one. So sit on that invisible chair. Eyes forward, not looking at the floor. Chest is open, not hunched around like this. <laughs> Keep those lungs open. Space back we go. So we've got this constant up and down, but I'm never going all the way up. My legs don't get to rest. 20 seconds, halfway. So my legs are starting to burn. Oh, cheeks. 10 seconds. What's coming up? Okay, we can handle that. Ah, feels good when you get to stand up at the end. Okay, we're going to do our walkouts again with two shoulder taps at the bottom. So walk out just as we did. When you get to the plank, tap, tap. <clears throat> cool. Okay. Four, three, two, one. Let's do it. And you can either do those shoulder taps for speed, just bang, bang, we can try and make, stay more stable, try not to rock the hips so much. And I'm going 
yes, some of the onions are going for speed. I bet Morgan's already done about 20 of these. Well done, I think we've got something fancy. Yes, mini sprints. If you live in an upstairs flat, I'm sorry for your downstairs neighbours. So bend the knees, so in that little half squat again. And you can either just keep going for the 40 seconds or you can do them in say blasts of 20. Pause for a second, another blast. Off we go. So your feet aren't coming very high off the floor. Just tap, 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 tap. So emphasis on speed. I think everyone's just keeping going. Good, you look great. Yes, 20 seconds. Maybe move around. So when we get to the bottom, we're going to reach back and either tap our foot or our knees, whatever you can reach. So your butt will have to go in the air like a bit of a down dog. All right. If you're not sure, just watch me for the first one. Whee. Here we go. Tap and tap. Bring it back in. Whee. That mini sprint <laughs> was horrible. I should have done it in sets. <sighs> Excellent. Oh no, okay. Burpees with five star jumps. I promised you there was no push-ups in here, but if you want to do push-ups, by all means go ahead. We're going to drop down, legs are going to shoot out. We're going to come back up, five star jumps. It's going to be great. All right, four, three, two, one. Off we go. Burpee with or without a push up. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to get our heart rate lovely and high doing this one. Yasmin, well done. Well done, Chloe. Yeah. You are working hard. Excellent. I like that one. Rolling plank. So down into the plank, they'll be in the low plank. But instead of having your hands like this, turn them around like this, it'll make it easier. We come onto one, we come onto the other. If you're not sure, I've got five seconds to show you. So I'm down here, elbow to the sky. Roll it around, other side. seconds. Last one. Yeah, well done. All right, lots of stability today. We're going to do burpees with five punches, but we're not getting up in between. So legs go out, legs come in, punch here, like our, um, our gorilla punch posture. Then we go straight back out into that burpee. So we're not getting up in between. Off we go. So this one's quite hard on the knees and the hips. If you need to adapt it, just change it up so it works for you. You might want to do something like actually stand up in between 
might want to take a second just to make sure your weight's even. You might want to make it kneeling. Whoosh. Tired legs. Okay, we're going to do pivot punches and sumo squats. So pivot punches, lovely and wide. We turn one, two, three, four to the middle. One, two, so knees are going out. Three, four, so four of each. Off we go. <laughs> two, three, four. Sumos, sit the toes out. One, two, three, four. When you do the pivot punches, the clues in the name, turn the feet. <laughs> So when I punch to the right, all my toes are pointing over there as well. Last few seconds. Lovely, all right. Number 11. Oh no, <laughs> burpee to two lunges. So normal burpee, two lunges. Uh, I'll be stepping back into my lunges to bring me back up to the place for my burpee. If you're feeling awesome, jump lunges are a good alternative. All right, looking at you, Morgan. Off we go, burpee. Sink inwards when you lunge. You know, keep them pointing forward. Engage the muscles on the outside of the thighs. Ooh, well done. Whee, what's next? Uh, we are going to do number 12. Reverse crunch to crunch. Right, I'm going to put my t-shirt in. All right, so reverse crunch, knees come to you, crunch, you go to the knees, back and forth, back and forth. I so wanted to make that a reverse crunch into a push-up, but I promised no push-ups. Okay, we've got burpee to lateral bear crawl. So I'm going to do my burpee here, my legs will go back, and then I'll just crawl myself along till I run out of space, and I'll come back up over here. Off we go. Up in your burpee if you're crazy because you haven't done enough this month already you can go for it well done guys 10 seconds try and fit in one more Leg raise to straight leg sit up down on the mat. So I'm down here. I do my leg raise and then I get to rest. Well, I get to rest the legs because I want to come up and do a sit up. I lie back, legs come up, put them back down, body comes up. All right. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can do a hip raise at the top of your leg raise, or you can add in an extra little paddle or an out and in at the bottom. Number 
the 15, kind of to halfway. Okay. Oh, and Morgan's gonna like it. 10 mountain climbers and two kick throughs. So we do our mountain climbers as normal. And when we get to number 10 and we finished here, kick through and kick through at the bottom. This is tap on the shoulders. Off we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feet together. Kick one through. Kick one through. Up to you if you take the hand off the floor. your left hand has to go first. If your right leg is in front, your right hand has to go first. Just make sure you concentrate on getting those in the correct order. You can do it slow, a little plod, or you make it very bouncy, very dynamic. down here. Tighten that up back up to the cheekbones. We are adding on a lead leg turn and kick. Try not to do any extra steps here. So one, two, this foot's not going to go backwards before it goes forwards. It just goes forwards, yeah? Don't wind it up, just go with it. Three, two, one. Very important when you do this lead leg turn and kick that the foot you're standing on twists around to the side. Don't leave it pointing forward. front, shuffle yourself back to where you started. Right, jab, cross, turn and kick, snap, kick. Are you looking good? Amanda's looking good, guard's nice and high. <laughs> yes, Grace looking very bouncy. Nuha looked like she wanted to do proper sign work after that kick. <laughs> you don't have to, we're not doing technique. <laughs> Excellent, all right, coming up. Number four, uh, lead leg hook kick, one for Amanda. Lead leg hook kick. So again, try not to take a little step just from here. So, you can either pull the heel back or you can point the toes up to you. So it comes up and back towards your own bottom. Yeah? Up here. And I'm totally cheating by going south, but I'm going back to orthodox. That was naughty of me. And if you're kicking with the left, right hand comes up to protect the head. Like I said, you can play around with the foot formation, some pointy toes, some hit with the heel. Draw a little slide. A little slide is good, but try 
if you do step, it's the tiniest little step. Don't come to here. Okay, uh, lead leg hook kick, and then with the same leg, lead leg side piercing kick. Or side kick to give it a shorter name. So I'm here, one. It can touch the floor. Don't worry about keeping it up and looking pretty. Stick on a side kick. Off we go. And you can always slide with both of these, completely okay. Chase. Well done everyone. Uh, we are adding on a jab cross jab. I wasn't expecting that. All right. Jab cross jab on the end. Hook kick, side kick, jab cross jab. Jab is the front hand. So if you kick with your left, the left hand goes first. So if you want to, if you're not feeling good, take it into a little march. Turn the shoulders when you're punching. If you're flexible, make it high then middle. hook nice just the arms now jab cross hook okay so two schools of thought for your hook you go the knuckles up the knuckles forward i prefer knuckles up considered more textbook but if your opponent is a little bit further away you might want to go knuckles forward or if you've got sore wrists or so high end thumbs and you're hitting the pad knuckles forward is good as well one two three one two three one two three so feet and hips move with everything. Hips, feet, yeah, always twisting the body with the technique. So we've just come from our hook here. Keep this hand on your face, turn under, swap the other hand to the face, and push up. Not doing bicep curls. <laughs> yeah. so we're punching upwards. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. One, two, three, four. on that one okay we're adding on liver shot so the hand will turn for this last one so one two hook uppercut liver yeah gosh all right so left right left right left off we go one two three four five Play around with the tempo. Go like one, two, three, four, five. You can just try one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. So keep changing it up. Well done. Okay, 
lead leg side kick. We've got six more of these, lead leg side kick, all by itself. Um, again, try not to have a little step, small steps, you know, micro, okay? But we don't want to telegraph it by having this great big run. Okay, lift and kick that leg out. So off we go. So if you're a new starter, just lift, push the foot out. Foot horizontal, pushing away, we're not flicking. More advanced, slide, lift, then shift. There we go this way, you'll notice the foot pointing straight across. If anything, get the heel a little bit higher. Definitely not like this. Excellent. We are adding on a rear leg turning kick. Awesome. We haven't had one so far today. So my lead leg goes first. Boom. I put it down. Back leg. Round we come. So we're going to the waist, to the head if you can. If you can't go to the head, go to the chest. If you can't go to the chest, go to the thighs. It's all the same. One. Yeah, if you want. Two. If you can. <laughs> That first kick pushes, doesn't slap around the sides of the body like this. It's going straight in here. Excellent. We're adding on defensive side kick. I told you we're getting there. So, lead leg side kick, just like before. Boom. My back leg comes around, boom, put it down. As soon as it touches the floor, lean away, kick, little runaway step on the end there to take us back. If you're not sure, stick with me. Front leg, back leg, put it in front, lean, kick, run away. You've got it. more advanced straights when you do the um, the sort of the defensive side kick you're actually going to turn your body so more like a back kick position still looking obviously but hips knees and ankles slightly downwards well done last three of this set so we're gonna have jab hook so our same hand is gonna do both techniques. So if I'm orthodox, left, left, and if I cheat and turn southpaw, one, two. All right. By the way, when I say cheat, it's just because I normally choose southpaw. If you want to get better at something, you have to do it. One, two. One, two. One, two. Notice the sound's not going anywhere. today because we're hitting the air rather than the pads but knuckles up or knuckles forward I won't mark you down with either do the one that works best for you excellent we are adding on an elbow yes this one's all kind of nice and small apart from that first jab so jab hook boom elbow coming around and we're gonna make a nice diagonal shape across here so from here boom yeah slice all right fun times one two three one two three now speed it up oh you'd already sped it up <laughs> you are already going fast Excellent. And 
just for fun we're sticking a knee on the end of there as well told you everything's lovely and compact for this last one one two three four yeah so uh aiming this part of the knee push it forward a wee bit don't just go straight up a little bit hips <laughs> Uh, oh, one, two, three, four. You're looking good. If you're feeling fancy, you can make it a flying knee. into the fourth part of today's class we're having a nice stretch excellent work oh loads of calories excellent our first stretch in your own time we're going to do some side leans so just over to each side and some torso rotations so just take your time you've got 40 seconds you might want to do 10 seconds on each you might just want to work with your breath. All right, next one. Excuse me, I just even that up. Um, scapular retraction. So not a stretch as such, but it's good for us, good for posture. Uh, so just relax, let, you, let yourself come a little bit of bad posture. And then open up the chest, pinch those shoulder blades back together, hold it for a second and relax. So imagine someone put a pencil between your shoulder blades and they let go. Would you be able to hold it there? Pinch, pinch, pinch. And relax. It's a nice one for opening the lungs back up after all that bouncing. A few more seconds. Excellent, we're going to go into a runner's lunge and we're going to alternate that with a pyramid. So we want our left leg in front, we're going to be bringing the hands down either side and we're pushing that back heel down and away from us back there. Uh, if you don't want to do this one, you can just do a high lunge. Uh, and we're going to alternate that with pyramid. So a few seconds of either one. And depending on your flexibility, you might find you need to shorten the gap between your feet when you move into pyramid. Absolutely fine. done uh, we are going to take legs out like this so not as far down as you possibly can but so you can feel a little wee bit of a stretch there um, we are going to just reach from one foot to the other through the middle just taking our time moving from side to side so I'm gonna go my left first and then stay low come through the middle
excellent we're going to go back to that run a lunge pyramid but we're going to do it on the other side so your right leg will be in front this time and again some of you know a few other variations on the high lunge so you might want to drag and fly have a little twist whatever feels good for you today right three two seconds. Well done. Okay, next one um, we're going to do ah, half frog and frog. So down onto the mats. Uh, half frog, we will have one knee kind of out to the side and the other leg extended. Hold this for a few seconds. Again, notice this is on a diagonal, not pointing straight down. And then bring it in to the full frog, both knees, and then switch it over, half on the other side. This one's uh, quite intense, so if you don't like having your knees on the floor for this one, you might want to sort of sit on your bottom and have a bit of a butterfly stretch instead. Low lunge, so left leg's going to be in front. And for our low lunge, the knee is on the floor and we're just letting the hips sink forward. We're going to alternate this with bringing the weight back and doing a hamstring stretch here. So hips and hands. You can also sit all the way back in this one if you prefer. What have we got next? We have got uh, thread the needle. This is a nice relaxed one. So I'm going to be down on the mats here, just in a bit of a tabletop position. I'm going to take my left hand, get a lovely twist, and then I'm going to bring it under my other arm. And I'm going to relax my shoulder down to the floor here so my body's all twisted through the middle. And then we change sides. So let that shoulder come down to the floor. Another variation is to hover the hand here and just reach. I quite like to relax into it. Just let my shoulders take it easy after all that punching. Excellent. Low lunge and hands opposite side. So we did have the left leg in front, right leg in front this time. So you can get into it now, but you've still got a little bit of rest time. Off we go. Uh, again, notice that my thigh is on a diagonal, it's not pointing straight down until I come back into this hamstring one. And I can either be sort of more vertical or I can sit right the way back and open up a slightly different part of the hamstrings. Your choice. All right, 
side. Neck stretch, I absolutely love. Camel or half camel. So I'm up on my knees, my toes are tucked under, and I'm just going to reach back. I move my left hand to my left ankle. I'm going to push this hand up to the sky and I'm pushing my hips forward. Yeah, and I just feel like it opens up both my hip flexors and then I'll swap to the other side. If you want, you can do both hands. So I engage the glutes to push the hips open. Use its arm to just elongate the body. Excellent, take a little sit on your bottom. All right, uh, hip rotations, so 90 degrees. So I'm going to let my knees form like a right angle here and a right angle here. And then all we do is rotate them over to the other side. So we're just chilling out, a few seconds on one side, a few on the other. If you're like me, you might find it's easier to rotate one way than the other if you've got a few uh, imbalances and so forth. Just a few extra seconds on the side you need to work on. Excellent. Twists. Okay, we're starting to really cool down now, taking it easy. Down to the mat, arms come out. If your knees go to the left, your head goes to the right. I'm just going to stay here for the first 20 seconds and then I'm going to flip over to the other side. Two. One, off we go. So we've got a lovely twist through the spine. Yeah, hip heart rate's coming down nice. Over to the other side if you were using my timing. Excellent, two to go. Knee hugs, yes. So you could do this a few ways. You could just stay on your back. You can just hug those knees into your chest. Maybe roll around a bit, give your back a massage on the floor. Or we can do the other one where we bring our foot across and hug that knee into the chest. I'm gonna go with this one. And again, I'll do about 20 seconds on each leg. Nice one, well done everyone. Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel like minus four now. I've definitely warmed up. If you need to switch legs, do it now. And then a final stretch. I'll give you a choice. You can happy baby or you can ragdoll. Two, one. All right, if you want a happy baby, you will be lying on your back, you'll be have a hold of your feet, and again, you're just gonna kind of kick those legs out, massage your back into the floor, have a bit of a hamstring stretch. Alternatively, we can do a rag doll, so that's kind of a forward fold, but we're not gonna worry too much about our legs being fully straight. We're just gonna collapse down here. Take a few deep breaths. We can maybe pedal the legs out a little bit if we want, but we're not, we're not forcing anything. I was going to place a bet, I'd say Amanda's in Happy Baby. So this is your last one, just play around with it a little bit, whatever feels comfortable. 
and slowly make your way back to your feet. Awesome work everyone, a full hour. Brilliant, 60 rounds, 60 rounds of 40 seconds, a minute each one. Yes, so many calories, I can't wait to have lunch. All right, give yourself attention, give yourself a bow, give yourself a big clap. 